Hello, I'm Charlene Trincy, and I'm here with Prosper, and I'm a photographer and a social media strategist, and today we are going to talk about getting out of the noise of the internet and authenticity. I hope you enjoy the show. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show, and today we've got the social media strategist herself, Charlene. Charlene, how are you doing, my love? I'm good. I'm good. Good. Thank you. Fantastic. So you might be watching this video and maybe you would really like to increase your brand awareness using uh, digital marketing strategies, or you also have been accumulating a lot of information about digital marketing, but you don't ha know how to actually implement it. And you're actually looking for a personalized or a, you know, a, a strategy that would actually help you achieve your goal every step of the way. Now, this is when you bring in people like Charlene that are seasoned social media strategies to actually help you um, gain an online presence without um, you know you wasting time and you know trying to learn new skills on the way. Now, did I say that right, Charlene? Yes, yes, that, that's totally right. Yes, great stuff. All right, so tell me a little bit about you know what you normally help clients with because as far as i know a lot of people are overwhelmed by many platforms and wired to start with their social media uh, strategy what's your sort of procedure how do you actually help people charlene okay so i will start by trying to explain a little bit like what i'm doing by telling a story how i'm doing for a client okay okay so that's, that's great yeah we have all this information free books and a lot of things on the internet and i'm trying to focus more now in artists and the thing that we see now most of the times and when you talk about artists a lot of people don't know how to put the skills and monetize them you know and make a living from art you know and i have this client right now she's a dancer okay and for this man for many years she always thought as a dancer you know she could only teach dance by being present to a another person and it's what comes to everybody's mind but uh in addition to that she has other degrees you know like a natural medicine and stuff like that and she got sick in 2015 you know she suffered an accident and a car accident and then from that point to now, just now she could start to work again. And we were talking about that. And she said, yeah, I felt so lost and I tried so many things, but I couldn't. So now we are putting together a strategy that she can help other mothers just like her, you know, lose weight and get more energy with dance. Because wow. a lot of people think about exercising and all that. And not everybody's up to that because sometimes not fun let's face it some people have some injuries that they cannot really manage to you know lift weight or something like that so uh through dance she showed us that it's really fun you don't feel the exercising you know and you, you get more energy you have like she has this new challenge where you know you get only five songs to dance per day and you get with your kids so the kids think that this is fun you know my mom's dancing with me when she doesn't think about that, she's actually exercising, you know, and put your mind in an, another stage, another thing. So that's amazing because it's a business that she's making with her skills in arts. But of course, we had to put a full strategy behind that, you know, with challenges, ebooks, and all the information so people can get used to it, you know. Mm, great stuff. So obviously, what you've actually brought up there is something phenomenal. You know, you're using the skills that she already has, which is yeah. the dance and also your skills as, um, you know, a, a strategist and you've put together a program. What that tells me now is somebody's life story and their expertise can actually be of greater importance if they have somebody like yourself backing them up, right? So yeah. how do you then help people find that message? Because some people may be really good at one particular thing, which is dance in this particular um, time. How then did you find actually that she's got a bigger message and a bigger platform that she can play? Um, you know, so because somebody might be watching this and they don't know that they also can have those sort of things so what sort of um connection do you you know do for somebody 
um, with, with, to bring out their message like that? One thing I have learned, it's like everybody can always give something to someone at some point, you know? So it takes, sometimes it takes few sessions talking about the person, about their skills and about what they love to do, what they know how to do it well. And uh, a lot of times we have to talk about that, talk about story and what are their struggles and what their wins and all that we get together to put a niche down so they can work out their skills and a strategy for a business. Great. So, yes, it takes some time, you know, some people, yeah, it's just like you say, you know, some people, oh yeah, I have this skill. I'm a good dancer or I'm a painter and I want to sell my paintings or I want to give class or something like that. But some people just like have a lot of skills. It happened to me, you know, I had so many skills. I started in fashion, then I went to uh, graphic design, then photography. And all that, it was always like, oh, I, I love this, but I, I cannot make it into the, mar into, the, into the market. And it was when I started to study marketing that I saw it's not about your skills. Of course, you have to be good, but it's important to have a strategy behind that. Otherwise, you're not going to make it. Great stuff. So obviously that's the message part of, um, you know, the, the, the strategy. You also help people to enhance user engagement because this is what, you know, people would be um, looking at, watching that new message coming out. How do you then help people, you, you know, to engage, uh, to, to increase their user engagement? Oh, this will depend on the niche, you know, like this one, it's mothers. So we try to focus in what, what are more needed on this market, you know? So we go and we, f we find the, the gaps on that, you know, and we try to put on uh, content that will, you know, close these gaps. That's the way, because it's a lot of noise right now, right? In digital world, we have so many content out there. So it's hard to get engagement going on, like just organically. Uh, but we try to put a few ads, you know, Facebook ads is great. And if you know how to use, it's even better. But otherwise, great content and try to find the gaps. And do it like, of course, because you love and do it for the people, you know? Not just doing, thinking about you like, oh, I'm a great, a great photographer and some things I love, but maybe when I put this out there, not everybody's going to love it, you know? And that's okay, of course. But you have, if you want engagement, you have to find that small piece that no people are looking for. Understandable. You did mention something that is very, um, that's a really big pain for a lot of people. There's a lot of noise on the internet right now. Yeah. And how do you help people own their own space as an authority, um, you know, in, in their own um, message, their own space that you would have helped them create? First of all, in our sessions, you have to master your skill, you know, and when you do it that, you know, with confidence, you always know a little bit more than somebody else. And you have to be confident and show to that person that you know a little bit more that you can teach them to be at the same level. You don't always have to be the best in the world to be, you know, an authority. But if you know a little bit more than someone else and you can help that person, you start to be authority for that you know, for that group of people. And that's already amazing because you are always change someone else's life with this little bit of information that you are giving up. Great stuff. Well, you know what? All kinds of um, entrepreneurs actually try and just manage their social media alone. You know what I mean? And, you know, in the end, they make a mediocre process of them. What sort of advice can you give to somebody who is probably just, you know, not really getting results, but they are trying and just copying other people on the internet. Uh, my best advice is be original. You know, it's a lot of noise, like we just say. And if you're trying to copy other people, you're just going to get on the noise, you know? Uh, so if you're original, you're going to stand out. Not everybody's going to love you. And that's okay, of course, you know, but you will find people that will like you for what you know and what you have to give, you know. And of course, a lot of people are starting out and they're trying to do everything alone. So sometimes they just don't know the path, you know. So it's always good to have a mentor, to find someone who is going in the same direction. You don't have to cop this person. You just have to get this and get sessions or watch videos, do something, follow this person and see, oh, what they are doing, that it's working. 
and try to do it in your way. I think that's the best thing to do, you know? And even when you get a mentor, this person will always help you with this, you know, setting up what content can you put out that it's going to be a little bit out of this noise, you know? Understandable. Well, obviously, Charlin, I've learned a lot from you just watching your stuff and your branding and everything else. Thank you so much for that. So for the people that are actually watching right now, how can somebody get a hold of you just in case they are stuck in that conundrum where they don't quite know how to, you know, step out of the noise, how to craft themselves as an authority and how to actually be visible with their messaging? <clears throat> First of all, uh, anyone can find me as Chá Trinci, you know, and my social medias. But uh, I'm always trying to give a little bit of advices now on my page, you know, and I always try to engage with people, giving up something about this, how to get out of this noise, you know. And this authenticity comes from your personality. Not, not everybody's the same. Even twins, sometimes they're completely different, right? So you always have to put something out that gives you this authenticity. People will start to resonate with you. And it's different. Like sometimes everything like this kind of thing of high school, you know, sometimes you want to be with the cool kids, you know, but the cool kids, maybe they are not that, that cool, you know? So what happens that you start to make your own group, you know, and your group of kids will be the cool kids for you, you know? And I think that's what amazing. So find the group of people that you think could be the cool kids for you not for everybody you know and try to you know just engage with them uh, go to groups you don't have to be participating like crazy you know like oh hey i'm here i'm here but watch out see like few things you know comment your opinions in other posts and some things like that you know don't spam people People hate spammers, so don't spam people, but be there, be a little bit visible. And when you feel ready, that you say, oh, now this, this is my thing, you know, then you start to participate more and maybe posting or, you know, just send a message to someone, say hello, see if they're looking for a collab with someone else, you know, and try to keep up with what you believe in, in your message, not others' message. Oh, thank you so much. I think whoever is listening right now has probably taken a page off of what you're saying. So I'm going to be putting all the information of how you can uh, be in touch with Charlene um, in the comments below. And like you've heard what she says, be your own person. You know what I mean? Because your life experience and your life story has greater commercial value than you could possibly think of right now like the um like her clients that she's working with right now she knew that she was just a dancer but now she's created this whole platform where she's actually helping other mothers to actually have a happier existence now charlin thank you so much for your time today i don't know how else i can thank you today oh thank you prosper just you know keep going with a great job i love your posts too you know it's very authentic it's very you and i see it's a lot of energy it's so amazing thank you so much for having me here amazing thank you so much front part, uh, front part of the show so if people don't okay. watch the video, it's your fault. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> don't make it. Don't put this on me. <laughs> okay, let's try that.